Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, my name is Brooklyn Dennington and we do makeup tutorials and reviews here. So today we did do a review over a lash company. These are the lashes that I use and the missing pair is actually on. And I love these lashes, they're so beautiful. If you would like to see how I got this look, then just keep watching. with you guys today so the first thing that I'm going to use is the morphe I guess it's just like a dip brow I don't know what it's actually called but it's in the shade praline and this is what it looks like and my nails look bad I know and I'm going to use the morphe Jeffree star js7 eyebrow brush to fill them in and this is a really good pomade that's what it's called yeah and it I've been using it for a few weeks now and I love it I like to trace the outer part of my brow first, and then I'll go in and fill it in. Okay, so my brows are filled in. It's very messy, but we are going to carve them out. I'm going to use the H2O Skin Drink from Pixi. They sent this to me, and so that's what we're going to moisturize with today. And it's a gel and I love it, it's super hydrating. It's the CoverGirl True Blend Concealer in M100 Golden Natural, and I'm gonna use a JS10 concealer brush to carve them out. And while um, I'm talking kind of about skincare since I was using the Pixi, um, I remember in my last video, I told y'all I was going to let y'all know how I enjoyed the um, Pop Beauty Probiotic Face Mask, and I've been using it once or twice a week, and it's so good. It is literally like hydrating, and it has like little beads in it, and so those little beads is kind of like exfoliating, but it's like a gentle exfoliator. So when you rub it on, it feels like you're exfoliating, and then you just like let it soak. It's so good. I'm going to take the same concealer and prime my lids with it. Okay, so I went ahead and put on some tape because I do want to test out a new liquid liner today and tape just really helps. You can also use the eyeshadow shields if you'd like to, but I just really like tape. And I'm going to use the Morphe 3503 eyeshadow palette. I got this in my last video, but I did not use it, so I want to use it today. And to start, I'm gonna go in with the Morphe M441 blending brush, and I'm gonna go ahead and start with some neutrals out here just to start packing into my crease. Okay, so I have that looking how I would like it to look, and I'm gonna go in with this kind of hot pink color. I'm going to jump right over to this orange shade right here and start blending that in the same area. And now I'm going to use the Jeffree Star Concealer in C8. And I'm going to use this small Lexi 246 brush and we're going to go ahead okay so now I have this flat brush and I have some blue glitter and it's super messy but I'm just gonna jump into this glitter and start packing it on top of that concealer So the glitter is on, 
that is complete. So now we're going to use this liquid liner that I got sent to me from Minx by Mickey or Mick, one of the two. She's on Instagram and she also sent me these lashes. So I've already tried out one pair, but I wanna try a pair on with y'all. We might actually just try them all on without gluing them just to see which one looks best with the look today. So I'm gonna take this liner, it's very precise, and go ahead and start lining it. Liner is done. I really like this liner. It went on really nicely for even going over um, chunky glitter and I really like how it turned out. So now we're going to go ahead and do lashes. I am going to use my Pixie mascara because they're the best mascara I've ever used. And it really makes your lashes look long. All right, so I'm using the last of my First Aid Beauty Primer. And I'm gonna go ahead and prime. So here are the lashes that we're going to test out. We have a few different styles here. We have some more of the natural ones and then some super dramatic ones. I have tried these out right here and I will list all of the names down below of all of the lashes. Like look at the packaging first of all. Like this is so pretty. But we're gonna go ahead and take the lashes out of that packaging so you can really get a good look at all of them. So they're super wispy, um, they're mink lashes, so they're like the faux little mink hair. They're so pretty. So the first ones that I want to see how they look with this look are the most dramatic ones because I'm obsessed with these. And of course they're not gonna match me right this second, but I am gonna go ahead and just set both on just so you guys can see and then we'll decide which ones we'll use. Okay, stop. These are so beautiful, and I know I don't have them cut to me, to my eye length, I mean, and they're not glued on and all that, but oh my goodness, these are so pretty. So that's the first one. And then this is the first natural set. I am obsessed with these. I think these are gonna be the ones that I use today because they're so pretty. I really like these. And these were the last natural pair and I love these two, they're so pretty. So we will decide and I'm going to pop some lashes on and I will be back. So lashes are on. I did use a more of a natural look and I will put the name down below. So for foundation, we're gonna use Becca and Juvia's Place foundations. These are the best. I'm in their buff from Becca and 540 from Juvia's Place. You can get both of these at Sephora, I believe. I know for sure Ulta maybe support too, but we're going to put, all right, so I have a combination of the two on this brush from LMB Cosmetics. This is a very thick, creamy foundation, so if you're not into that, don't get these. <laughs> and it does look like I used a lot, but I am going to go down my neck as well because I don't have a tan on. Okay, so now I'm just gonna take this damp Real Techniques Beauty Blender and blend this all in. Now we're gonna take some Cody Airspun and bake. Take the product that is left on this Morphe M519 brush and just start putting that under my lower lash line. For some lower lash mascara. Take this large um, hourglass powder brush, it's the number 18, and I'm going to take the Fit Me powder in 220. 
and I'm going to put this all over my face and kind of start dusting off my um, Cody Ears but So now we're moving on to bronzer and I'm going to use this little palette to contour my face. Going back to the Cody Airspun, I'm going to go ahead and carve out my contour just so I have a cleaner line. So now I'm going to take the NYX um, lip liner in nude pink and we're going to go ahead and line my lips. Now I'm going to take DSL from LMB Cosmetics. This is a matte liquid lipstick and fill that in. away all of that Cody Airspun. I'm going to use the Jeffree Star Morphe setting spray and set my face. Y'all, this is the finished look. If you did like it, please let me know down below. Um, all of my social media handles will be down below along with all of the codes that I have for any of the companies that I used today. I hope you guys enjoyed this look. And thanks so much for watching.